at this place with all these semi trucks. We're picking up our big tool rack order that was shipped to the, I believe it's the yellow freight center terminal. So here in Rock Island, Illinois. We're just picking it up. Yeah, they'll load it into our pickup here for us, which is an option for people that do not have pallet forks and they still want to get something like a big tool rack that weighs more than UPS or FedEx drivers can lift. So this package weighs, I think, 367 pounds. Whoa. Turn left, then turn right. And they're just going to put it in the back of the truck? Yeah, with a forklift. Well, the guy told him the 102 door, so we backed the truck up to that slot. And I can see guys driving around in there, like that guy. Now we just got to figure out which guy is going to bring us our package. almost 400 pounds. Oh, are we gonna get this thing out of here? Piece by piece. That's how. Okay, well, it's in there. Yeah, we got it. Now we'll just see if we can get it back out. <laughs> well, we'll just take it out piece by piece. Cause it's heavy. Yeah. When I, put, when I was pushing it into the bed, I, it, it weighed a lot. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. <laughs> and we don't, the guy kept the pallet and the lid was going to come flying off so he took that too. Yeah, I saw that. Um, and the strap that went all the way around it. Yeah. Holding it to the pallet. So he took care of most, a lot of And what's for. this big tool rack thing for? Um, it is a tool rack for the three point hitch on your tractor. And what tractor do you have? I have a Coyote CK2610. And if you want to see the video on that, I will include the link in the description box below. Yeah. It's uh, 30 degrees out and flurries off and on. It's not going to be any accumulation, but it is cold. So the unboxing and the assembly of the big tool rack has begun. And so, what was included? So, Tim sent some gifts. Oh, that's nice of him. Yeah. A big tool rack license plate. Hoodie. Uh, Built to haul it all. A big tool rack, rack deluxe wheel spinner. Oh, shoot. You just got one. I already have one of these. So, I think this is going to be a giveaway for our channel. Uh -huh. Ah, so make sure you click subscribe if you are interested in getting one of these for your tractor or and truck. In the comment section, write down wheel spinner in your comment. And we'll use a random comment uh, algorithm to uh, pick the winner. And we'll have it sent out by Christmas. Nice. Uh, let's see. We also included... The big tool bag, tool rack, tool bag. Huh. So I can put like straps and other stuff. For, Smaller things yeah, in there. Yeah, and then I can just live in the big tool rack. Cool. And 
A big tool rack pen. <laughs> nice. That was awesome. So thanks, big thanks to Tim at Big Tool Rack. Does he have a YouTube channel? Yes, they have a YouTube channel. It's Big Tool Rack. Well, check them out as well. Yeah, we'll link them in the description. New day, I'm going to install. It's over here. The chainsaw holder. And gotta tighten this up. And install the other side. So, here we go. my nine foot long pull chainsaw will ride right here. Hope so. Fingers crossed. All right, we'll see. Here's the test of the nine foot long steel HT131. up high and I can retract it down a little bit but I can also lower the power unit and the power head down a little bit so it's not up so high but yeah it's on there it's secure I don't think that's gonna go anywhere when I'm driving down the trails so yeah Pretty happy with that. What do you think, Leaf? All right, y'all. That's the uh, big tool rack installed. It's fairly straightforward. There was a couple of tricky spots, especially when it's 28 degrees outside and your hands are freezing. But Getting the little nylon washers in here was a little difficult, but other than that, um, keeping track of the right bolts was a little difficult at times, but that's my own fault. So here's Leaf. She was my little helper today. Helper. She's certainly cute though, aren't you? She's a good little cat. 